If you remember, in a past episode, we actually made a Raspberry Pi laptop out of some pretty common parts, with some interesting features like an integrated Arduino for quick testing of code, and it also had a built-in battery display, which was a little bit overkill, but gave it a really cool DIY look. So we've looked at how to build it, but now let's talk about if it's even worth building. Is a Raspberry Pi laptop useful? Okay, so we're going to be comparing the Raspberry Pi laptop to a few different laptops by comparing battery life, performance, cost, I.O. ports, features, and just overall usefulness as a laptop. So to save time, let's just jump right in. The battery life is actually really good when compared to a high performance laptop by almost tripling the battery life. While the more powerful laptop may have four to five times the battery capacity of the Pi Top, the Pi Top is super low on consumption, meaning a little really does go a long way. Now, when compared to a laptop of similar size, the battery life is a little bit more comparable with the small laptop lasting about five and a half hours and the Pi dying after four and a half hours of use. Now, of course the Pi's battery life is dependent on what you're using the laptop for, but I found in normal operation, the battery would last at least four hours, which is pretty damn decent for a laptop of its size. However, it's also worth noting that the Pi laptop's battery is pretty easy to upgrade, whether it's by adding more lithium ion cells or just using a bigger power bank. So this should definitely add points in the Pi top's favor. Now that's not to say that other laptops can't be upgraded. It's just easier to add batteries to a laptop you've built. Also, most laptops have batteries that are arranged in series compared to the Pi's parallel battery set. This also makes it easier to upgrade for the Pi. Okay, so I think it's fair to give the Pi Top a point for its battery life. Now, performance is a very mixed bag. While we talk about this, we have to keep in mind that the Raspberry Pi is just a single board computer that only has a 1.2 GHz ARM processor with 1 GB of DDR2 RAM. However, I have to say this really impressed me. So of course, when compared to a high performance laptop, the Pi fails miserably in terms of raw performance power. But we have to remember that the Raspberry Pi is running a custom distro of Linux, which is a lot lighter than the operating system you'll find on your high performance laptop. So in everyday use with office programs, the Pi actually holds up really well, only failing when we use it with websites that require flash or apps that need a lot of processing power. Now, where I was really impressed is when I compared the Pi Top to the smaller laptop. Not only did it outperform the mini laptop, but also featured similar specs. So originally this mini laptop was running Windows XP, but this ran so badly that it felt unfair to compare them like this. So I installed Lubuntu, which is another light Linux based operating system to even the playing field. Even with this new operating system, the Pi laptop still outperformed the mini laptop in everyday tasks by running web pages better, being able to handle multiple apps at once better, and by just running smoother in general. However, we do have to keep in mind this is a bit of an older laptop and new versions of the Intel Atom chip could perform better. So overall, the Pi performs great as a little netbook or office laptop, running these apps really smoothly. I even started using it as a school laptop to take down notes on, and I had no problems taking down notes and emailing them to myself. So in terms of using this as a netbook, the Pi definitely gets a point for performance, if you understand its limitations. If you're planning on using this for gaming or rendering or even running an operating system like Windows 10, this is definitely not the laptop for you. However, it's really great for retro gaming, if you feel like firing up some old SNES or DOS games. Now for cost and I.O. It's kind of hard to say that the Pi laptop is cost effective. Costing just over $100, it isn't super cheap to make and does take quite a lot of time to make too. When compared to other laptops in its performance and size range, it's slightly expensive and that's excluding the time it takes for you to make it. So unfortunately, it doesn't get a point for price. As for I.O., it does beat out the new MacBook Pro pretty easily, featuring three USB ports, an HDMI out, an audio out, and all the I.O. that the internal Arduino brings. When compared to other laptops in its class, it has many more ports, with most just featuring one to two USB ports and a power plug. And so it definitely receives a point for its I.O. Now when it comes to features, the Pi wins and loses. The most obvious feature is a big battery display next to the main screen, which reads live voltages from the battery and gives you a real-time reading and percentage. It isn't super necessary, but it gives it a really cool look and it's kind of useful. It also has all the features you'd expect in a normal laptop, such as a full keyboard, trackpad, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a power switch. The only thing it's missing is an internal speaker. Yes, while making this, I completely forgot about adding any sort of speaker system. However, this proved to never really be a problem for me as I was only using it as a note-taking netbook. And if I absolutely needed sound, I could just plug in headphones into the audio port. And the last feature is the integrated Arduino, which I found was actually pretty useful for when I just wanted to test out some code or a sensor on the spot. So as much as I want to give the Pi Top a point for its features, the lack of a speaker really does hurt it. And that brings us to the question, is this laptop useful or worth building? I know it's annoying, but the answer really is, it depends on you. If you like building and customizing your computers, then this is perfect for you. If you like high performance laptops, then this is not for you. 
In order to determine if this laptop is right for you, you need to look at what you want the laptop to do. In my case, I was just using it for note taking at school, so the pre-installed LibreOffice was more than perfect for everything I needed. However, I had also planned to use this laptop in my downtime to watch YouTube videos or stream some movies. And while I can do this, a lot of the time it's limited by either its software, hardware or both. We also need to remember that this is running a Linux based system, which means a lot of the software you may be used to on a Mac or Windows just won't work at all. Also, no, it cannot run Crisis. So with that being said, I'll leave the decision up to you. Let me know your feelings about Raspberry Pi laptops in the comments. If you want to check out the build video for this laptop, the link is in the video description. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you want to see more builds like this one.